okay so in order to remove this error right here what you need to do is to log into your cpanel to remove the plugin that is causing the issue most times when you encounter problem like this it's the plugin that has actually caused an error on your website so you should not panic you can easily rectify it so go and log into your cpanel of your website so i'll log into my own cpanel okay so once you get access into your cpanel like this just scroll down inside your cpanel and look for the option that says file manager so that is where your wordpress cms is hosted on so you just look for that point so you can remove the plugin that is causing the issue it might be a plugin you downloaded online that is causing a problem or just a flick within your plugin settings so i will do that right now so right now i'll go to this place which says public html then if you see right here this one that says wp content this one here just tap on it so as you can see i have a few plugins right here and i know i installed all this plugin effectively but when i installed this plugin it caused an error that was when i refreshed my website and it caused an error so i'll delete this plugin and refresh my website and see if it comes back so i'll go back then this elementor pro is what i'm going to delete so i just click on this delete option i just click on skip the trash and permanently delete then i'll go back to my website which is my website slash wp admin then just refresh it so as you can see right here i'm back into my website which means that that plugin was what caused the problem so if you face issues like this you can quickly just rectify it by going to your plugin directly within your cpanel and deleting the plugin you feel might be the problem and if you do not know the plugin that's causing the issue you can delete all the plugins right here and refresh your wordpress dashboard and it's going to load up then you can begin to install all this plugin individually again as you can see the plugin slash so -so -so has been deactivated due to an error plugin files do not exist so it means that i deleted this for my cpanel so this is how you can actually rectify the error on your website issue if you got value from that session ensure that you subscribe to the channel turn on the notification so you get notified when i drop amazing videos just like this and also don't forget to comment like and also share this video so it can grow on the youtube algorithm and people like you who need it will get to see it so that being said i'm going to see you on the next video take care and have fun